Fail. Win. Now this has got to be a win. I played this years ago on the emulation. And uh, <laughs> I've seen one in person but I never really played it. Um, God, look at that. American Dream. I, I cannot remember anything about this. I haven't played it for years. All I remember is you get on the feature board and I have a dream. That's all I can remember. £25 jackpot, just been delivered, haven't tested it out yet. It's all the seller tape on it at the minute because the keys were stuck to it. Yeah, I'm going to test this out soon. MDM Leisure. This has got to be a lot of fun. This is literally the first look. I had a couple of spins. It's a little bit on the loud side. Um, I tried turning the refill key but it doesn't seem to do anything at the minute. I'll have to look into that. Right, I just want to hear that feature uh, quote. Yeah, it's a bit loud. I don't know what fast track does, I can't remember that. Light fast track for feet. Oh, yeah, it's literally just you can get on the board by pressing that. Huh. Forgot about that. Oh my god, it's loud. I have a dream. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Hang on. This is loud, man. That uh, number reel's a bit out. We can live with that though. It's a classic, isn't it? Oh, I forgot what we have to do. You have to nudge. Oh, just nudge winds, is it? Yeah. Hello, that's so that's a one, is it? Oh. It's over. Why can't I ever buy a machine that works fully? <laughs> that was supposed to be a one. Looks more like a twelve. Must be just you move the real bands, do you? Oh, enough of another thing I like to see. Out. Well, so far compared to that one, I'm highly impressed. That's just awful, awful, awful. What's that, two pounds? Oh, four pounds if I get that. Oh, one of the pounds finally fell out. Needs a bit of a clean, this game. The uh, coin mech's been a bit fussy as well. I took that one. And that one. Uh, it just needs to be used, I guess. Uh, yeah, I've changed the percentage to 82, and uh, guess what it was on? <clears throat> 72. They weren't completely tight, but uh, yeah, this, this machine has probably made its operators a lot of money in its time. It was on £5 jackpot. They uh, changed it to 25 before I had it delivered. A, lo a local machine. You know, I could be wrong, but this might have come from Yarmouth. They used to have one there, and it was, it was not there the last time I looked, but that would be a long shot. And they're hard to find, aren't they, these American dreams? Let's try the fast track. Come on in! I have a dream! <laughs> Catchy music there. I like the cabinet, all the blue. It's in nice condition. All the buttons original. Yeah. I can't hold down cancel at the minute I'm holding down the phone. Try to get the trophy. Extra life. That's interesting. It says extra life. It doesn't say the same on there. I'm not letting you get rid of me. No? Should we try a feature? Cash picker? I guess it's this. Alright. Hey. No 
bonus. Oh, does it pay on 20 P's? Oh shit, I don't have any. Okay. I thought you'd get a bonus. Oh no. I have to round it up. How am I going to round it up? A £1.20 and a £1.60 or £2.40. And a... Right, okay. <laughs> Yeah, um, I thought you could press take feature for that, but I guess not. Come on in, um, I have a dream! Nearest winner quid. Lunch picker. From what, I'm, from what I remember, this machine was quite generous when you get on there. And I think it did like a jackpot repeat. We'll find out. We'll find out, YouTube. I can't collect Skinner RU in it. Oh no. Don't you dare time out. There you go. I didn't want it to time out just in case. I think we've got a dodgy quid. Oh yeah, it looks a bit scabby. Right. That's going in the reject pile. There we go. What's the cancel noise? Hang on. This is this is a classic game. This is I actually quite like the volume how it is. Fast track. Come on in. I have a dream. Pretty soon, it's a bit predictable, I guess. Oh no. Hmm. Okay, it likes to do that. Oh, I it's jackpot. Then. No way would it ever let him spin jackpot. It probably, it probably would actually. Oh, nine minutes. I'll keep the video going for a bit. Might have to do a two-parter. This is literally the first go I've had on this. Ever. Apart from emulation all those years ago, as I've said. I did play this a lot, actually. There's something about it. 
Probably the sounds. One thing I did notice, the battery is slightly leaking. Uh, you have to um, connect it off the board, don't you? I'll have to do that at some point. I've never actually done one. should imagine it's quite easy. And just for the record, it, it would have already have ha happened, but um, this is going tomorrow. It's being swapped for a red gaming machine. Um, thanks to Mr. P, first machine I've ever bought of him. He can't release a hyperlinks to me yet, though, unfortunately. <laughs> and he has one, I think. Or he hinted he had one. And he also has a Camelot and a Spiker, which I'll be after one day. Ah, what's the cancel? Oh, lovely. Attention to detail. Does it give you an edge? No. See the what is that? Play coin plot. That's not a win then. What's it doing on there then? That's a bit confusing. It's over. So it makes you wonder if this machine ever was on this jackpot setting. Like, were these in the pubs? Just, I'm just curious. They must have started in the pub. Like, I, I, I had a thought the other day. Um, actually, I had I have this thought quite a lot. Like, get your opinion on it, YouTubers. Say they they now put like these machines in pubs, or. The £35 jackpots or the old £15 jackpots. Um, like, firstly, are they allowed to put them games in the pubs? I mean, if you if you own a pub, surely you're allowed to you're allowed to cite what you want. But would people play them? No, I, I think they would. But maybe people would take the piss out of them. Like, you know the sort of player that puts a few quid in like, he's like, oh, you can only win 25 quid, you know, they don't really understand the game. I just, I'm just curious if people, if you think people would play them, if that would work. Um, well, you know, why not? Or have a pub with two hundred pounders and two classics, you know, because this would appeal to the more casual player. And you can win on them, I'm, I'm sure this streaks, this must do a repeat of 25, maybe even twice for 75. <laughs> Let him ride, I like that. See, that would pay for a few drinks when it's 75 quid. Oh, get in there. this machine right that was the first little peek um, I might do a part two I think uh, one of my mates is coming around in a minute Mr. D as I've called him on YouTube uh, see what he thinks in my opinion that's a hundred times better than that and this is from 2002 get in there American dream MDM leisure shame they went really good games okay so this is part two of American dream um, first look if you like, I decided to give the machine a quick wipe. This was a clean cloth to begin with. 
Yeah. Um, I've got a feeling this has come out of service and just sat around for a bit, unloved. And uh, yeah, here she is. Uh, I was looking, that sticker looks really familiar. It makes me wonder if this machine was the one I saw in Yarmouth years ago, you know. Something about that, I mean, maybe that was just a sort of a generic sticker they put on all the arcade machines. That looks quite old. And I definitely recognise it. Um, the Gamble Aware stickers. But yeah, the, I forgot how nice these cabinets were, the paint finish. I know the circle buttons, you know, it reminds me of the old Camelot. I used to have a bit of chrome on the corners and the metal cash tray. Really nice, all painted blue. Yeah, uh, powder coated maybe. The speaker there, a little bit of sort of surface rust here and there. So maybe it's been sitting maybe outside for a bit or some cold garage or storage facility but overall really happy all the paint is just perfect and the glass can't fault it the artwork it's fine all works inside is really good condition just need to wire the battery off obviously and maybe sort that number reel out or does that give it a bit of charm well, I could sort it out I suppose I'm surprised the seller didn't but yeah they didn't do the battery either, so and they just sell on the machines, I guess. Oh yeah, and I forgot the uh, rugby balls or footballs. Feature entry, it's not a win, so yeah, so let's continue. I have a dream! Well, that was lucky. Not much skill to this machine. I don't know, maybe there is a bit of. I suppose the features, you know, there's your skill. There must be a few skillful features about it. You just move around the board, and that's a bit like Camelot actually. Sort of round table. MDM Leisure. Was that any sort of link to JPM? I'm, I'm not too um, clued up on the history. Well, it must have been actually, because it's their technology, isn't it? JPM's technology. Was that part of JPM? Same cabinet as well, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it's obviously. Um, a division was it, or they just borrowed parts? I have a dream. I have a dream. But I'll win the jackpot. So, oh, is this taxi? <laughs> I'll do it about the council. It's over. <laughs> they called it slider. Yeah. I like it. Don't call it taxi. How the uh, nudges are pretty responsive, like they're proper dun dun dun. You know, some of the old, you get the old machines, and you nudge in it goes, you know, proper slow down. So, no delay with this. Maybe I should take some features. I'll take mix and match if we get it. Let's fast track it. You can, you can hold it down. down there, that flashes. I'll get in there. 
It's my own money, but it's still exciting. Alright, it doesn't waste any time getting the old features up, does it? Invincible American Dream. Lovely. So much better than that. Come on. Let's see if I can hit a question mark. Oh, do you want jackpot or this? I suppose it doesn't matter really, does it? There we go. It does repeat though. Of course it does, MDM game in it. Oh yeah, get in there. just going to say, now that jackpot tune, that is a jackpot tune. That, yeah, that, that's brilliant, that is. See, even the, even at the modern machines, they don't do jackpot tunes now, do they? Well, they do, but it's just like, it all lights up for five seconds, it's like, oh, jackpot, jackpot, and it just plunks in a hundred quid. There's no, there's no, and you know, there's no entertainment anymore. Oh, there is a machine also I've ordered, um, which uh, Club Banker, I don't know if he's still got it, um, I sort of bought it. After watching his videos on it, um, yeah, Family Guy. Looks like a fun machine to own, I suppose that's got a bit of a jackpot tune, it does the Family Guy thing. Alright, there we go YouTubers, uh, we'll just hear that collect music once more. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. Yeah, there was the uh, first look at American Dream by MDM Leisure. What a game. Very impressed so far. I'll get another video soon of uh, features and that. And uh, get some other opinions on it. This is definitely going to be staying for a while. Just classic. Classic, classic, classic. So yeah, I'm now going to try and round that up to a pound figure because there's no 20p's in it. And uh, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, so pleased that's going tomorrow. That'll be gone before this video is uploaded. Better with the music on now, but still, just just got nothing compared to that, really, is it? Free machine. Mm, lowest excuse of a fruit machine, I'd say. A little bit boring. There we go, YouTubers. Thanks for watching. Take care.